here the day you became a cowboy, so I mean, that, that's kind of special. Now we're to the point where you're not only going to be a cowboy, you're going to be a cowboy out on the field. I mean, how, how hyped, how crazed are you? Oh, uh, you know, I feel like I've been, I feel like I've been locked up, you know, I haven't been playing, I haven't played a game in a whole year. I'm just ready to go wild, you know, locking, doing whatever I need to do to win, so. It's, it, is there, I mean, a lot of people like to put you, say, oh, there's the next, you know, Marcel A. Does that bug you? Not at all. I watch this film about four, five times a month, just seeing, like, how he plays and what, um, you know, there's a couple of guys that do their YouTube channels and talk about how, uh, what athletes need to do to be successful in the draft and stuff like that. <clears throat> so I watch his film and pull up a couple of highlights and to see what I can do to be like him or even better. Probably doesn't hurt. He's tearing it up at Oakland Raiders training camp, too. That's a good thing. Yeah, great. Okay, talk about your dad. I know he's been to a lot of practices. Uh, I know he's had a great impact on your life. Talk about that relationship. Uh, you know, it's crazy. It's, it's not crazy, but uh, it's pretty good relationship. I want you to say pretty good. It's a great relationship. Yeah. Uh, you know, growing up, my dad, he, uh, he's the one who introduced me to football. And uh, now the crazy part is he, he actually played receiver in high school. And my whole time growing up, I told him I was a better receiver, better catcher, things like that than he was. And we just argued, uh, we joked about it a lot. And uh, once I made the transition to receiver, he he actually he, uh, he burst out into tears, you know, because he never thought I would. It won't be the last time you make that first catch in that stadium. I want to see what his face looks like. Well, it's gonna be it's gonna be unexplainable. You know, he's, 